Now that is one sleek looking revolver. Good evening, cowboys, cowgirls, and outlaws. Welcome to the Slick Six Guns Network. I'm your host, Slick Six Guns, and I'm here to provide education, tips, and community for those interested in the Western shooting sports. If you're interested in stuff like that, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notifications bell so you don't miss anything. Today's episode is provided by Charlie's Front Porch Gunsmith. Make sure that you check them out in the description section of this video. Also in the description section is a link to our Patreon account if you feel like supporting us. Now let's pack our wagons and see what's being discovered out west. First, let's take a look at some of the major parts of the revolver so that you are familiar with what I am talking about. Here is the barrel, cylinder, loading lever, wedge, wedge screw, frame and grip frame, and of course, nipples. This particular revolver is manufactured by Uberti in Italy. This revolver weighs 1.6 pounds, has an overall length of 10 and a half inches, with a barrel length of 6 and a half inches. It is considered a 36 caliber weapon, and the rounds I like to use in it have a diameter of 0.375 inches. The grips are made of one piece walnut. The frame is color case hardened. The back strap is brass. The barrel is blued and the manufacturer's name is covered by the loading lever under the barrel. The loading lever is color case hardened and the rammer is color case hardened as well. The cylinder is blued and fluted, giving it a sleek appearance. The hammer is color case hardened and the trigger guard is brass with a blued trigger. This revolver has a small conical pin front sight with a notch in the hammer for the rear sight. The revolver has the capability of holding five rounds of 36 caliber ammunition when fully loaded. Here is the process for loading this revolver. First I pour 15 grains of triple F Go X into my powder measure and then pour the powder into each of the five chambers of the revolver. Next, I take a round ball and then seat it against the powder charge using the rammer under the barrel. I repeat this step four more times. Using Crisco, I coat each chamber mouth generously and ensure that the lubricant is flush with the chamber mouth. I do this for every chamber before capping. Finally, I cap each nipple. The revolver sports a safety notch in between each nipple so that the shooter can carry this weapon safely with all five rounds in the cylinder. Other than that, those are the only built-in safety features of the revolver. The hammer spur is checkered and small so that it can be easily gripped by using one hand. The hammer has three positions the fired position with the hammer resting on a nipple, the half cock position which allows the shooter to freely spin the cylinder allowing ease of loading, and finally the full cock position which will discharge the revolver with the pull of the trigger. The hammer features three clicks to the full cock position. This revolver can come apart easily by removing the wedge and taking the barrel and cylinder off for efficient field stripping. The rifling features seven grooves and a 1 in 32 left-handed twist rate, which means that the projectile will make one full turn in 32 inches. The groove to groove diameter for this particular revolver is .360. The trigger is crisp and breaks at just over two and a half pounds. Stay tuned to see the revolver in future episodes. 